but to learn. Now I am the master. Only a master of evil does. Dream them your Jedi arts by Count Dooku. <laughs> Welcome back, Master of Evil 66 here, and as you can see, we're doing another LEGO review video on LEGO Star Wars. It's the 75199 General Grievous speeder bike set. It comes with two minifigs, and I've heard that this set is not accurate to what General Grievous' speeder bike actually looked like, but before we get into that, let's take a closer look at both the figures here that we have. Here is the first figure that you get to build out of both the bags that come with the set, and it is Mace Windu. He has a similar printing that he has in the Palpatine's Arrest chest piece set. Um, the only difference, I think, is he has a little bit more layers for the robe. As you can see, he has those lighter layers underneath towards the top of his neck. And his utility belt, looking pretty nice there. Has those extra buttons and whatnot to attach anything he needs for his Jedi missions. His leg printing looks a lot nicer. The robes flow from the waist all the way down to the middle of his legs. And you can see some of that new dual molded, uh, not molded, printed white areas right there for some more robe printing. Nothing here on the sides. Has a nice metallic chrome lightsaber hilt. No double sided face. But on the back here, he has another pouch on that utility belt and some more robe printing. Very nice figure to get in just one of the cheaper small sets that was released this past year. Now the last but not least figure out of the set is General Grievous himself. I really, really like what they did with this new body design. I mean, his legs look a lot like he does in Revenge of the Sith. I can see that they updated the feet so that way it clicks on to one of the studs in a two by one area, but the toes on the front and the back make it connect to a one by three area. He comes with four lightsabers. His arms are a lot better. Now you can make the lightsabers move and go in a lot different directions, kind of like how he's spinning them in the movie. His head mold and print that came out now is a lot more accurate, but personally I still am a fan of that nostalgic look that came out with the first mold for General Grievous. I can put a picture of that one up right now. But basically this figure is updated a lot Gave you two blue, two green lightsabers, just like it is in the movie. Look at his neck sticks out and everything. His head does move uh, up and down. It's just a lot harder to move just the head. But once you get him in the position you want, I recommend keeping him that way. Just so that way you can keep him on display or use him to play with all around in a nice, easy manner. Not too much else I can say about this figure, just like the new updated body. And here we are back to the speeder bike. I put the figures back in the spots they were when I showed it off in the beginning because this is how I have it when it's displayed. I like looking like Mace Windu's running up that ledge in the front of the speeder bike going straight towards General Grievous. Just makes it look like a cool battle scene. But enough about the figures. Let's move on to the set. As you can see, we have these big stickers here on the right and the left side. They use a lot of stickers as well here and here just to add that detail that wouldn't be there on the set without them. It's a nice addition, but again, if you're like me, I don't like to put stickers on because you can screw it up, but the more and more you do it, the more, excuse me, the more and more accurate it will get because you will just be focusing on lining up the stickers. It has right here for General Grievous to stand on two two by one jumper pieces just so that way it's easy for his feet to connect and they don't have to rely on other studs in the back to connect for the feet. Underneath here is more of that Technic just to show you how it's connected from the front to the back, but I like how they covered it up with just one of these basically thin slash flat pieces from other sets. Put two spears here in the front just to make it look a little sharper and more menacing. They have one of those gun kind of pieces, a two by one piece. And the underneath part is probably one of my favorite parts. I like how they use a lot of these two by two, uh, I guess it's the inverted pieces, and they're just clear. That's basically so it can sit up and not just be on the bricks itself. It makes it easy for it to still kind of slide around, you know, and not get caught on anything. If you're playing on carpet and sand or something like that, whatever 
floats your boat. On the back here is the engine. It uses one of these older wheel pieces from like the Mars mission sets, but in black. Um, apparently this set's not too accurate, but for the price, I mean, yeah, you don't get that many pieces, but it's a decent build. I mean, you can do a lot. You can have more people stand on the back if you want more droids for General Grievous. You could have other Jedi coming up behind on General Grievous. But, oh, what's that hidden thing? It comes with two spring-loaded missiles, so, boom, that one shot. And, oh, that one didn't shoot because my finger was blocking it. Let's just try that again. Bam, that's the second one right there. Uh, they used two translucent blue pieces and then one translucent green piece underneath there. Those are really the only, like, special pieces in the set. Other than that, that's all I can show off here. You can make a nice battle scene. It's up to you if you want to spend the money on the set. I did just because I wanted another General Grievous and a Mace Windu. But recently I've picked up some more from live auctions. You've probably been hearing me talk about that a while. At Republic Bricks has the great live auctions, you know, on Instagram. That's where you can get tons of figures for the low. So that's why I'm going to be kind of maybe getting rid of this set. I think I'm going to be trading it for some other parts that are more valuable to me since I already have Mace Windu from Palpatine's Arrest and I'm getting another General Grievous in. I'll have some more lightsabers to give General Grievous too, but that's enough talking about what I'm going to do in the future and enough talking about this set. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Master of Evil 66 signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day, Council. <laughs>